I love fishing the Adirondacks. I love fishing Maine. And, the, and that style of fly, I just love tying them, and I love fishing those streamers. And this is one I saw in an article on Canberra. It's, uh, it's up about the Adirondacks, and it was called the Llama. Now, I did change it up a little bit. I used different furs. It is a streamer. It has that classic salmon fly look to it. Um, <laughs> I was pretty excited about it. I think it, I think it's going to be one of the uh, one of my top flies that I'm going to definitely use on the Connect Quad because those rainbows love streamers and I love fishing streamers. So this is this is called the llama. It really is an interesting fly, pretty fly. So let's get to the vise and tie us up one. This is a traditional uh, pattern. Uh, I did change it a little bit. I used some different materials. For instance, it's made originally made with muskrat, but I really like the uh, hair off a uh, coyote mask. This is a coyote mask. has a nice markings and has a nice uh, tips. Uh, they look pretty good. So we got the thread in the in the vise. We're going to use uh, we're using semi denier black, kind of traditional. And I'm going to take a little bit out. Just the, I just want a little bit of hair. I don't want too much. And I'm going to tie in my tail. And I'm just going to tie it right in. I wanted to go about a half an inch back. And I'm going to tie in my tinsel. I'm using a flat, a flat mylar tinsel, right? It's gold on one side, silver on the other. I want the gold to show, so I tie it in so the silver is facing me. Just like that. Okay. And I'm leaving a little space behind the, the, the tinsel. All right. And I'm going to bring my thread forward. Now, they use uh, floss, but I'm going to actually use uh, red yarn. And I'm using, uh, now the yarn comes in four ply, and I'm only going to use two ply of it. What I like about yarn is, it, it uh, can rough, be roughed up a little bit, and it looks pretty good. So to catch this material, give you, Bob, a counterclockwise spin. If you look down from the top, counterclockwise spin. And see how the thread jumps backwards? And I'm going to just hold it on the top. Wrap it all the way down. And then bring my thread forward again. Gives a little bit of body, but it doesn't leave a lump. And I'm gonna go behind the behind the tinsel first, wrap, and then I'm gonna go forward. Touching wraps. It gives you that nice shaggy looking body. Come to the thread, and I'm going to tie it off. And do a wrap. Now, because I want the gold, the silver is facing me. As soon as I start wrapping, the gold comes in. And I'm going to do open spiral wraps. I want to try to keep them even. And I'm going to tie it off.
and cut it. That off a little bit. I'm going to get uh, take some more. Okay, I already look for really long hair, so I want to make a nice wing on this. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty close to muskrat, except that has a little more stiffness to it. And I'm going to wrap that, tie it on. Give it a couple good wraps. Now I'm going to take a game bird, and I'm going to use pheasant here. I really like pheasant, but you could use any. You could use partridge. You could actually use hen. And I'm going to give it a, a little bit of a collar. I already stripped off the lower part, the, all the fuzzies, and I'm going to trim this. So I have that little uh, triangle. And I'm going to tie it in right there. Like that, and then bring the thread forward. Get my hackle pliers. And I'm going to wet my fingers a little bit. I'm going to stroke, ugh, pulled out. That's all right, no big deal. Just unwrap a couple of wraps. And again, I stroke everything back. And I'm going to wrap forward. Just a couple wraps, just to give that nice collar effect. Reach in there. And make a nice head. That looks great. That's a that's a that's a killer. That's a classic streamer, right? I think that will move water and catch a lot of fish.